All right, so we're doing a mom and daughter Halloween baking treats. Explain what we're making. We are gonna make some peppermint patties. Ooh. We're gonna make some chocolate orange truffles. Yum. And we're going to make some... What's the last one? Witches', witches hats out okay. of Hershey's Kisses and Cookies. All of them are super simple. Very few ingredients. Something you can make with your kids. So we like easy. Yep. <laughs> all right, so now that we got all the ingredients together, what are we going to do? You want it to be, so when you touch it, there's nothing on your hands. So we're gonna kind of just work it into a ball, really easy. And you're gonna wrap it up and refrigerate it for about a half an hour. Perfect. So this one is going to be chocolate truffles. I am going to try and use these are those orange slices that you get that are super, super cheap. And what I did is I chopped them up and they get super, super sticky. So I kind of coated them in um, powdered sugar and then kept cutting them to touch. We're gonna see if this works. The ingredients called for orange, either actual oranges or orange um, extract and I don't like extract. What are the other ingredients we have here? So the other ingredients are pretty much the same. We've got powdered sugar, we've got butter, we've got um, baking cocoa, we've got about two tablespoons of um, cream, but I pour it in slowly. You can always add more, you can't take it away. You want, you're gonna try and get the same consistency as the other one. You want a pretty firm consistency when you touch it, you don't get anything on you. And we're gonna see if these orange slices taste good. Even though it's the same ingredients as frosting, you want it really thick. You don't want it spreadable. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so while everything is refrigerating, I'm in the refrigerator, you can have the kids do this. It's just some white chocolate and I colored it purple. And you take a fudge striped cookie, turn it upside down, a dollop of your white chocolate. And a Hershey's Kiss and you have a little witch's hat. And it's this, but in white chocolate, let's just melt it. So we're just putting some melting chocolate into a decorating pan. Um, this one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be really, really delicate. I have a number three um, icing tip on here and I'm just gonna get inside this spider. Um, shoot. And if you get it a little bit over, it's okay. You can we wipe it away. this one nice and beautifully. <laughs> You can wipe it away. For the younger kids, you can pick something else. I'm also gonna show another way to decorate the spider at the end. Then you can get in nice and intricate with your toothpick. Go. And you can kind of scrape it off. If you mess up a little. If you mess up. And if you mess up, you can just scrape it off a little. About being messy. It's not even that messy. <laughs> well, you honestly want to get all of the chocolate off before you start working with the white chocolate because it will show. So now I just have some white chocolate here and I'm going to do a really, really thin layer because remember, we're going to still put in our, um, our either our peppermint patty filling or the chocolate filling, which you can add um, 
other things too, like nuts. We're going to try orange slices and see if that's good. Um, anything that go, anything goes with chocolate. So it's up to you. Yeah. Have our little witch's hats. <laughs> So you really want a good thin layer of this, but you want it to be covered. Sure. So comment down below what your favorite Halloween candy is mm -hmm. or what your favorite mold is, like skulls, the crypts, or the, the tomb spiders. Tombstones. <laughs> 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 Okay, I'm gonna kind of get it in there. Get it in there. Yeah. Okay, so you want a nice, nice, even layers, and we're gonna let this dry. Okay. Harden. Yeah, harden. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> All right, so what's our next one? I am just going to kind of roll this in a longer log than I have it. I just decided I wanted it. I'm going to try and slice it before I was going to ball it up, but I'm going to do slices. doesn't have to be perfect. And we're just going to put it inside on top of that white chocolate. Oh, and that's what it tastes like peppermint. Yes, this is a peppermint. So here is your peppermint. We're just placing it on top. Just cutting it. The smaller logs. Yeah. And what'd you say? You like a what more than a? I use an essential oil, a peppermint essential oil, over an extract. You think it's more instead of an extract? Yes. See. Um, I had to warm up my white chocolate a little bit more, and you do. You want to keep it, um, warming it up at very, very tiny intervals, like, like ten seconds at a time. I or think you'll you do. Burn it. And yeah. then it's no good at all. So it's rather go lower and slower than too much too fast. So and, you just ruin it. I'm sorry. And use a little bit at a time because then you don't end up with it um, getting getting burned. And these peppermint patties are so good. I make them with just um, a dollop of chocolate. She makes them every year for every different holidays in any which way. You can even make them super basic and just layer them on top of each other. Right now we're using molds just to make them cute. Make so them you can make Halloween. them even more easy. Because I'm going to a Halloween party. Yeah. Just going to tap it down so it gets in there. I'm being tasked with the extremely hard job of pulling out the googly eyes from <laughs> these sprinkles. Let's see if I'm capable. I'm separating out googly eyes. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. Um, you're just gonna throw them out and then pull them out. And someone on the ground. <laughs> Luckily we have a dog. <laughs> Listen, if you don't get a random sprinkle in one of your items, then you're not doing it right. You're not having enough fun. <laughs> okay, so if your chocolate it's too thick, even though it's all the way melted. Do not add water to thin it. You put in oil, vegetable oil, and just do a drop like that. Like I did two drops, I think. And the oil will thin it out. Oh, look at that. You can already see a noticeable difference. Yeah. So I want this to coat my ball a little bit differently. So I want it thinner. Some of these orange slices to it. We don't know if it'll be good or not. I'm only going to do a few. We're making like an orange truffle, correct? I'm get, yes, it's going to be a truffle. It's chocolate. This one's a chocolate. Um, and we're going to be covering it in white chocolate. I'm trying it with the orange slices. We're not sure. I'm doing them kind of a little bit tall because we want to make a ghost. But you can add whatever you want to it. Like if you want to do toffee or anything like that or nuts, you could add it. And you it. can do it in a regular round shape as well. This is just, I'm trying to make it look like a ghost. Because I have fun googly eyes. That I slaved over. <laughs> so I'm just kind of making this up. It's actually working really well. Okay. Take this guy, kind of make him. I think maybe for the next ones, do a smaller base. Smaller base? Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, you mean the next, yeah. These are our experiment ones. We're going to see <laughs> if they taste good. We're seeing if they look good. And then we're going to yeah, do full I... ones. <laughs> That's kind of like good, huh? Mommy, how to go? These are just experimental. Obviously, you can just do the things in the in the molds. But oh, yeah. I saw the googly eyes and wanted. I them. think if you made them green, they could look like Scully from Monsters Inc. They could be any color. Yeah, we could do them colors. We're just we're just trying this. They're pretty funny. Do it on the front. Okay. okay. thing about it is that they're googly eyes so they don't have to be lined up. <laughs> okay so we're going to pop these out. I did not oil them so we'll see if they work. And the good thing is they're fun candies so no matter what, even if they come out like those ghosts, they're still fun. Ooh. Oh! Okay, so I don't like how the spiders came out with the chocolate, because even though I was careful, it didn't come out very good for me. Or I had painted on the spiders, like I'm doing on this spider web. And you can do that as well, if you don't want to try So I'm using black food coloring and a stylus. Ugh. And I'm just finishing this. And next time I will do my spiders this way by painting them rather than trying to do the chocolate and white chocolate separately. Oops. Voila. All right, we have grandma for the taste test. So we have to also grease our molds. I forgot to do that, and you can tell when you look at how they came out. But we don't really care. We were just playing around and having fun. And even though these ghosts aren't perfect, they're pretty darn cute. When you see their little googly eyes, <laughs> so we're gonna try him now. Okay, go for the ghost, Mama. <laughs> oh, I like that. Mm. Ooh, so those orange mm. slices are really good in there. Super good. This is a winner. Mmm. Mm. I love these, Shia. Oh my gosh. Wow. Those orange slices are the key. Can you make them like for Thanksgiving? <laughs> make them into a pumpkin. Now you gotta try. These are the um, these are the peppermint patties that I always make, mm. but they're with white chocolate. Mm -hmm. Our spiders. Mmm. Wow. So yummy. White chocolate. Mmm. Oh, that's interesting. It's yeah. sweet. I usually do it with chocolate, Dark chocolate, but I wanted the white chocolate for what it looked like. Mm -hmm. And now our witch's hat. She can't have it because it has gluten. It's the only one that's not gluten free. Yeah. 
You can't go wrong. Mm. Alright, so which one's your favorite, Grandma? I think the ghost is my favorite. I'm mine too. Oh, mine too. That orange, those little orange slices.